Hi, I'm Amanda Gross, and hopefully this is... Oh, good. Okay, yes, it is recording. Yay. All right, final milestone for five. All the requirements for all the previous projects have been met to the best of my ability, I guess you could say. Um, and you know what? When I play, you can see it that way because I am running out of time fast. Um, the settings menu. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the settings menu um, and then show this in code. Well, we'll let's go ahead and take a look at the code as well here. Um, so for my menu, I actually stuck it within the main menu. Um, let me see, I have a, a set volume and a set quality because I was trying to get the volume and the the quality set up here for this part of the menu. Uh, my settings menu itself, let me save all this because I don't know if I've saved for a while. My settings menu itself is um, this one. So, okay, so I've got like this done and then if I go to settings, oh, it is settings right now because that, that's right, I, I took away the main and got the settings. <laughs> And um, yeah, I wasn't entirely working again because I, the quality uh, was not working. Um, and I, I don't have like the changing resolution window mode because I, I am running out of time. But there is a settings menu, the volume, does this, um, and then quality, uh, I still need to um, put that in. But I've got part of it anyway, and I was um, trying to uh, get it set up, set these up as well uh, to see if that can get them to uh, work. Um, so what I did was I had like a thing for quality right here. Um, and then from top slider, I was trying to do the main menu and set the volume. Um, to get it to go back and forth there that way. Uh, let's see. So, but I, yeah, I kind of, I'm running out of time. So it's partially done. Okay. For volume control, you need an audio mixer. The audio mixer is supposed to um, cover the code, the audio for the entire game. So um, in audio, I have a main mixer and all these sounds. Um, I was still working on trying to set it up too, but, uh, it is, it's there anyway. What it's supposed to do though is, uh, when you run it, um, all of them are attached and it controls sounds to the entire project. Um, and then also audio triggered, um, and multiplications and background audio. So we're going to take a look at those two here. Um, I'm trying to go as fast as I can here. I don't want to miss the deadline and do not have long. Um, for audio manager, uh, I, well, I wrote up an, uh, an audio manager script and I have a sound script both. Um, we saw what I had in main menu to try to take care of the sounds. But anyway, for the audio manager, um, let's see, I have, uh, I made it into an instance um, so that it's only one audio manager at a time in the scene because I was trying to get it to cover across scenes so I wouldn't have to mess with it. I was trying to be quick and <laughs> it doesn't entirely work. But uh, like down here, um, the music persists in every scene and don't destroy all mode game object. So what I was trying to do was um, create it so that when you opened up the main menu, it played the music as well. And oh, you know what? I think I got it. I didn't put a thing in here, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, my word. Okay, so I just need a, uh, uh, I can fix this now. <laughs> um, hold on. What? How did I do this in here? Um, no, that's main menu. Okay, sample scene again. Okay, that that's it. That's why it's not working. Ah, oh, got it. Hold on. If I, okay, so it just needed an audio manager and my audio manager script. Oh, goodness. Okay, menu. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. 
Uh, okay, so it needs an audio manager. Rename. Rename. Come on. Come on. So I'm out of time here. Audio manager. Okay, there we go. And then add an audio manager script. Audio manager script. Dude, where are you? There you are. There you are. There you are. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, and it really doesn't have any sounds that I'm going to really mess with out here. But hopefully when I play it now, crossing my fingers, no. But they do have the don't destroy one, so it's somewhat working. It's just not working the way I wanted it to. Um, you know what? I don't have the overall music done, do I? Is that what's going on too? By golly. Yeah, well, I'll just do that while I'm here as well. I don't think I do. Nope. Uh, let's just add an audio source to you and get like a main thing going. I don't even know if I have it. Oh, yeah, I do because I was going to do hamster dance. Um, all right, where's my audio? All right, I need my hamster. Where's my hamster dance? There he is. Okay. <laughs> Hey, okay, there we go. So it's working in that scene anyway. Um, so for, um, I'll just set it up now. Audio background environment music. Yeah, okay. It, well, my, it's not exactly located in 3D space because um, it's, uh, it's definitely not ambient sound. <laughs> it's goofy music. It's like me. Um, but anyway, it it's hooked up to main camera. So because uh, that is quick. <laughs> uh, let me see if it actually worked in the other one then, because that's why it wasn't. Lovely. This is what happens when you run out of time. Oh, no, wait. Wait, wait, wait. File. Save. Yes, I want you to save. Okay, we're going to open up this sample scene again. And no, I, wrong one. Wrong one. <sighs> Play. Come on. Ah, darn. Okay, well, anyway. I thought it would work. Shoot. <sighs> well, what I was trying to do was the music was going to persist in every scene. Thought I'd try. Doesn't entirely work again. Yay. <laughs> but there is an audio mixer. Um, and um, if it was working the correct way, it would um, control the sounds everywhere. Um, there is background music now, like I said. Uh, let me see. These are all the sounds, though, for the next one and how I'm going to get the sounds. I put this thing in here, too, so that um, if I have the wrong name, it's going to throw a warning, you know, like, um, no, I don't exist, especially if I misspell it. Uh, so let's go back to this one because this is the one that will need to have the most of it. I made a game object, an audio manager, and I put all the sounds that are in the game here. Oh, there, theme, hamster dance. It's just not exactly playing like I wanted to. Do. <gasps> They're not on. That's lovely. Yeah. All right, let's pop these up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. So what else did it say, though? And then we'll listen to the sounds and I'll probably take away the hamster music because it's going to be loud enough that you can't hear anything else. Um, I have to audio is triggered by events inside the game. OK, so my events are triggered. Um, this all of this, this uh, audio component, audio source, volume, pitch loop. All of this uh, makes it uh, available for everything to be played by clips over here in the audio manager to try to take care of the audio at once. Um, this player shooting, uh, a death, um, the theme music is the hamster dance because, you know, it's a mouse, and then uh, pick up item for sound effects. And I'll probably, like, um, go away with the, uh, with the hamster dance here in just a second uh, to, um, yeah, to do the rest of that. So let's see, what was I looking at? Oh, oh, where is it in the code? So um, in the code, I right here, I put a find object type audio manager to try to play for the death, you know, when he kill, kills the target. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> um, and then I also made one 
on when I picked up my gun, which is not in this one. What am I doing? Because I'm running out of time. Right here. So on the trigger collision, um, when they're trying to pick up the object, they're going to pick it up and, you know, get the thing. Okay. So that is where uh, it is inside of my code for audio triggered. Um, let me see if I can get it to work. They were like sounding stuff, which was cool, but I don't know if they're going to continue or not. So let me see. Um, where did I put the, uh, go main camera again? I don't want to like, dang it. Can I, like, there's a way that you can just, I don't want all of it gone. I just want, <sighs> let's see if you can hear the rest of it. Okay, let's... All right, you know what? No. <laughs> okay, can I hear him now? Oh, okay, so good. All right, I just turned off the audio for now. And oh, we'll talk about the flash effects too, because um, that's in there. But um, if you hear the pop, that is him. Oh wait, no, he he has the like squeaky pop pop. Um, oh, when he go and pick up the thingy, the health. Who can help? Oh, um, the mouse is squeaking, so that weird noise is the mouse. Uh, so he constantly does that, and then um, wow, <laughs> dying. But you can hear the mouse all the time. He's definitely doing it. And then there's the pop. So uh, the one where he's shooting is working because this guy pops. He pops the gun on shoot. Um, so that's partially working. Uh, the pickup is not working. It's in code. Ah, they're semi-working, I guess you could say. Some of them are working. Yeah. Okay, and I did show you where it was supposed to be trying to trigger in the code. Um, particle effects. Okay, so they're actually going pretty well. That's like the thing that looks like it's a firecracker. There we go, see? Aha, yeah, see all that? <laughs> I kind of like it. It's like firecrackers. It's like 4th of July here in this game. Anyway, um, okay, so the uh, particle effects, yes. Okay, uh, particle effects, particle effects. I just got finished with particle effects. So. All right, I took that. I talked about the audio manager. I Here's the sound script to get it to work too, because I forgot to show you that real quick. Um, particle effects I put on, I put them on my weapon. That's right, I put it on my weapon. Woo. So I can, they're where I can make sense. Right here is a module flash. Um, to get it to play as well. And then up here is the muzzle flash within the code to get it to flash. Uh, let me see what else, because there was more code than that for that. Where on earth is it? <sighs> Running out of time. Can't think, can't think. Okay, um, uh, muzzle flash. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, well, you can't see that thing, can you? Um, but uh, it's in my prefabs, and then on my rifle itself, uh, open prefab, and right here is the particle system. So I uh, had to set it up, like I have a pink and yellow thing going on here, I'm just like yellow Nerf gun dart, so that's my muzzle flash, it's like I'm trying to make it look like Fourth of July. Um, and this is where you set how long, like tender duration, uh, time, um, start time, all these things. Um, this is how you can get it mission and lights to get it to start. And then I have a point light down here, which is why it's like more lit up near the bottom than at the top. Um, so that is basically how set up for the, that was um, accomplished. Um, yeah. And then... I don't think there was anything else in here for that. Make sure. I I do have a thing here set up. But it, it for the most part, yeah, that, I think that was it for that. Okay. Uh, let me see what else. So 
but yeah, it does have a muzzle flash and um, it starts within part of the code. I didn't, I'm not sure where the rest of the code is for an instantiate, but I've got part of it anyway. Um, lighting with the reflection probe. Let's see, lighting, where did I put that? Tried to get everything ready here. Um, that was a menu, pause, lighting. I know I had lighting in some of it somewhere. Where did I even put that? <sighs> did I have, uh, make sure I didn't have any scripts because they were so many of them there. Do I have shooter sound weapon, weighted objects, light? Don't think I do. Okay, but um, this uh, Saphir is the actual uh, light, um, or um, it, so it you can play around with the two to get it to light up and all. A few go on to I think it was intensity. Yeah, so like if I just do a two, that's a very noticeable change. If I do a three, that's even more nervous. If I do 10, it like so white, you can't see a thing. Um, and then like it has like a reflection upon it. Um, this is achieved by, uh, let me see. Okay, so I, but yeah, I made a, a sphere and then added the material to it. Uh, and then to get the reflection probe, to do the thing, uh, no time slicing and had a real time and on awake so that it would start that. Let's see. Yeah, and I showed you the, the intensity. Uh, so that really controls the light of how that goes. Um, let me see. And why they are placed in the given locations. I just placed it here because it's kind of like the center of the starting scene. But I guess you can make more of them and turn your whole word lighter or darker wherever, yeah. however you want to do it. Oh, man, I'll help you in a minute. <laughs> I'm running out of time too, dude. Let's see. Um, next. Okay, so uh, lighting. Um, what else? I, I don't really have the run smoothly at 60 FPS. I don't. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here um, where it says build available. I'm going to try to pause and build and then come back and show the build and then stick all of it into my portfolio um, and then hopefully have time to help him too. Okay, so I'm going to pause here. Um, I don't think I have enough time to go over anything else. Yeah, I think I think this is it. <laughs> okay, so let me go pause. Uh, let me pause, let me pause, let me pause. Boy, I hope you work this time and you don't screw up with me here. Debut, where, where's the pause? Oh, there. Okay, back again, trying to build. Um, I mean, I don't know if, like, I never knew that, but maybe you cannot have any errors at all. So I'll just put it on this way, I guess. Because uh, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so here we go. Um, wow. Yay. Sorry. Wrong thing. Um, there, if I'm there, because they're in there, and then I say build... And then I want to stick, yeah, I know, dude, I have no idea <laughs> what to do for Iris. If I'm going to select that folder, dang, damn it, look at that. How did not do this on that other build? Um, I, I mean, I guess I could, like, take off the property drawer. <laughs> Which is not exactly good. Huh. Well, good for you. Mine isn't. Um, 
Uh, well, okay, well, where's my property drawer? Not like it was really working anyway. Oh, but did I have it like on something? That's going to be the next thing is it's on a bunch of stuff. I've got like 30 minutes. Ah, projects loaded and ready to use. That's nice. All right, here we go. Goodness, I hope nothing's using you. <laughs> okay. Oh, my word. Pad gone is the property drawer. Um, yeah. Will you build now? Please build. Build settings. Server default build. All right, I'm, I'm sticking in the mouse world, of course, because there's like nothing there. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> you won't build, will you? Error building player because the script has compiled. <laughs> Great. All right, you go away. Could not be found. Fine. Air controller. You're right, it can't be. Because I just took it out. Because I'm trying to build it. All righty. How about you? No good. Error building player because scripts have compiled errors in the editor. Why? Should not be capturing when there's hot control. Build completed with the result failed. Build player exception. Build because they have compiler. All right, well, dang it. So my big issue is player has compiled. Play. Man, it's like a hundred errors. Might as well be. <sighs> Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Um, it. Target UI set up to false. That's my whole targeting system, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to fix them. I mean, it's because, like, I'm trying to target things, and, I mean, I know why they're throwing them, but I don't know how I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to fix them in time. So I guess I will not have a build, but at least it's on there, and at least you saw that I tried. So. I'm going to just take all of it, put it in a zip file, and stick it up on my website. Um, let me put that in video. <laughs> File, save. Okay, so just put you down there and, okay. All right, you're going here. Haha. <laughs> Because it's 239. <laughs> okay, save. Okay. Um, you go off of there too. Bye bye. Great. Okay. Um file folders. You're you're it, right? Are you it? No, you're not. You're not it. You are not it at all. You are not it. You're it, right? Yes, with compiler errors, but hey, you're it. Um Okay, so you, I'm going to send you to a zip folder. Oh, by golly. Really? 
it's going to take all night. I'll just put it on as part of the video. Okay, there we go. 340, zip folder, great. Happy days. Okay, and then pop it on my website. Um, okay, you don't want that. We need my website, my website. Okay, you go up. And then customize the channel. And, oh wait, no, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that here in a second. Uh, I, need, I need my Wix site. Okay, Wix site, Wix site. Wix, not Wix. Come on. <sighs> Wix site, Wix site, bye, Miss. Yay, my sites. Game programming, select an edit site. I've got 20 minutes. Okay, right, site actions, edit site. What? I just did that, I thought. I don't know. Maybe not. All right, um, I don't know where I'm going to add this, though. It's going to take it, like, forever just to, you know, pop in here. Um... Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I think it's going to be added here. Let's see. Why not? Uh, yeah, just it's going to be in one. All right. So when you look for it later, it's, it's in one. Okay. And then I will add it. I will add it here, I think, below Mansion Mysterio. So, so we will add a button, and this is not Mansion Mysterio. This is um, Mouse Wars. Yes. Come on, Mouse Wars. Zipped folder. Great. Okay, link. Link to a uh, document. Document. Ten. Oh, wait. No, we like. What am I doing? Document. I gotta go find file. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Don't fail me now, computer. Oh, I got 15 minutes. Okay, I'll play media. But how am I gonna do this? I don't even know. All right, um, upload media. Um, 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 shoot. Um, let's see. Where is it? I don't even know. I don't know. It's under this PC, GPE340. It's under this PC, just under this PC. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to have to pause and stop here, but you've seen that I have it. And pray that my video uploads in time. <laughs> All right, stopping here now.